So maybe you're a coach, you might be a service provider or a course creator. This is all for you. Maybe you're struggling to get those leads consistently into your business on social media. Well, you're in the right place. You know, you might be exhausted by posting everywhere on every single platform out there, messaging everyone and just not getting the results that you want. Nothing seems to be sticking or working. Or you might just have a few clients, but maybe it just dries up. You, you're serving your clients at one end, you look behind you and the pipeline is dry. You know, you're definitely in the right place. Now, did you know that 81% of coaches fail because of lack of leads and lack of clients into their business? It's almost like they're on this hamster wheel, constantly whirring away, posting, trying to find the right way, searching for answers, and not getting the attention of their clients. You know, you need to put a stop to the feeling that this isn't gonna work for you, you're not gonna hit that 10K month, that feeling of overwhelm, the imposter syndrome, and missing out on life. Well, in the next 15 minutes, I'm gonna show you my total blueprint, nothing left uncovered, on how my system works, not only for my coaching businesses, but for my clients, and how we use this system to get a constant stream of clients into our businesses. So I want you to stick around. Now, why should you listen to me? Okay, well, I'm Elaine Sanderson. I have been running my own businesses since 2002. A little bit of background, I was in the water consultancy world, had two small children, and really wanted to be a proper mum, be at home, look after them, but I was always overseas or away. So it really jump-started me into starting my own business and the first one was with my ex-husband in the photography coaching niche and I was so determined I knew nothing about marketing 20 20 years ago and I literally threw myself in the deep end determined to make it work and that business scaled to high six figures within 18 months now since then divorce struck I was bought out life plummeted a bit like it all does you know we go through ups and downs but over that course of time, I have built other businesses, one in e-commerce and another one in the coaching niche, helping clients get leads off Google. And over those years, I have closed over 10 million pounds worth in sales in my own businesses alone. And I've also helped other businesses scale to seven figures. Now, I also run a lead agency where I have, I do done for you, group coaching and online courses in the Google niche and also Facebook ads. So I spent a lot of time and effort and resources to find out how to get consistent leads online and get the sales in the door. And literally I've invested thousands over the year, literally thousands, it runs into the tens of thousands on coaching courses and mentors. And I picked the cream of the knowledge of the super successful entrepreneurs to develop my own blueprint, works for me and it works for my clients. And I've learned what to do and what not to do and what doesn't work. And it all started off with my own coaching business 20 years ago. So now I want to go through with you the seven essential things that will qualify you for success in being a coach. Now, these seven essential things I'm going to list right now for you. Okay, number one, you do need a niche. You need to niche down and you need a high value offer. Now, you've probably heard that a million times before, so I've got to cover that one because that's the obvious one. But as coaches, we're looking for a high value offer um, to offer our clients so that we're going to reap the cream of our efforts. We're not like um, a huge multinational trying to offer low value products because you need to sell thousands to get like any money out of it if you're kind of a, a Walmart or a Tesco. The second one is you need to ditch your beliefs that you need to be on every platform out there. Now, I mean, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, um, TikTok, um, LinkedIn, Facebook. You need to ditch your belief. You really only need to start with one. And you've got to ditch your belief that you need to be posting all the time. Yes, you do need content out there, but you've got to ditch your belief that you, you cannot get overwhelmed with all those platforms and all the posting. It can literally take over your life and get you no results. And also, number three, you need to ditch your beliefs that you have to be super popular online. People seem to think that, you know, you have to have all this huge engagement online and because people have got lots of engagement, they're making lots of sales. You know, you might see somebody on Instagram with millions of followers, but the truth is somebody with thousands of followers could be actually earning more than those. So you need to get rid of that one. 
Now, number four, you need to take the time to learn how to get clients unless you've got a stack of money for a lead agency or full-time virtual assistants. People I speak to, coaches I speak to, often say, I can't be bothered to learn how to market. Well, the truth is, they're really not gonna make it unless they've got a stack of cash. You have to put the effort into learning how to get clients through the door and how to get leads and then convert them to clients. And you need to be willing to stick at it. You know, you need to have guts and you need to have persistence and you need to show up consistently online. Now, number six, you do need money to invest in you and your training because it's very difficult to get there without training. You know, you could spend years go down the wrong roads and come to a dead end. But you also need to invest in ads when you're ready, okay? Because we start organically and we scale with ads. So it's a business and any business has to have money invested. There is no such thing as a business without an investment. And the main one in coaching is in you and ads when you're ready. And of course, all the bits of tools and software that come along with it, that goes without saying. And very lastly, and probably the most important one, you have to have complete and utter belief in yourself. We all get imposter syndrome, that is normal, but we have to learn to smash that down because we're all very capable. It's those that are the bravest, believing in themselves, 100% they can do this, they have a passion and a drive, and they're willing to get out there. So those are the seven essentials that will qualify you for success in being a coach. Okay, so let's get into the real nitty gritty of how you can make your coaching career super successful. So here we have the blueprint to success, whether you are a done for you service provider, whether you're a coach, a consultant, or whether you're a course creator, the same principles throughout this blueprint apply. So I'm gonna start at number one. Okay, so you need to be in a niche that sells. Now what I mean by this, it's the pain in the niche needs to be strong enough that people want that transformation, that zero to hero, transformation because it's easy to sell to niches that have a, a real desire a real pain and a real want you know if somebody's going through a marriage breakdown there's a lot of stake you know there's a lot to st at stake on the table you've got kids involved mortgages that's a really painful niche uh, an addiction niche such as alcohol or drugs um, a mindset niche where people really need to to sort of get out of their pain their they're really self-sabotaging themselves and they need release from their own kind of thought process. Um, the niche basically needs to be strong enough where people are wanting to spend their money to get out of the pain they're in. I mean, I, I do talk to a lot of coaches and some of them are in are niches where they're a little bit weak and they're more of a nice to have. So there are ways of doing research into whether your niche is going to sell and whether the pain is strong enough and whether you can make a career out of it. So that's the first one. You also need the trust and respect within your niche. And what I mean by this is you've either got, got gone through the transformation yourself and you know, you've gone from the bottom of the mountain, you've got to the top um, yourself and you know, you have to have proof of that and you have to like, have the, if you've gone through it yourself, you've got the confidence as well to sell to people, to, to enable them to actually achieve the transformation you have. Or, and, shall I say, and or, and or, you have to have helped other people with that pain achieve their own transformation. So you're going to gain trust and respect the more testimonies you have. And, you know, that builds with time. So the more testimonies, the more proof you've got, the more confidence you get. And the whole thing kind of feeds on itself. Now, secondly, you need to talk your client's lingo. Now, what I mean by this is it's really easy to forget how you were at the beginning of your journey, how you felt, what issues you were going through, the pain you felt. We kind of just, as humans, we forget very easily. We have now reached the top of the mountain, but your clients will be still maybe either at the bottom or halfway up. So you need to be able to understand what they're talking, how they're feeling, and there are certain ways of finding how your clients are talking, what phrases are using, and talk their lingo. Now, what I mean by this is talk it in every area of your marketing. So that's in emails, that's in your posts, that's on your ads. Basically, everywhere throughout, you need to be able to resonate. And, you know, it's like a, you know, a, a basically a wavelength, hit their wavelength at their level. 
So the third thing you need is the right funnel for you and the right foundations. It's almost like building a house. You're not going to build a house on weak foundations because the house is going to fall down. So right from the outset, you need to build the right foundations for you. Now, it's all very well, these gurus who have made millions and billions to tell you, use this funnel, download my templates, because those funnels 90% of the time will not work for you. Now, if Tony Robbins gave you his funnels to use, are they going to work for you? No, they're not. So the right funnel has to be built for you. It has to be built right for your niche and your experience and the foundations as well. Now, that in itself is, is really quite straightforward when it's broken down into a step one, step two, step three. But that's a really important fundament, a fundamental step for your success. Now, number four, you need a signature offer. So what I mean by this is something you're going to get known for online. You know, that's the lady who does that. That's the guy who does that. People just know as soon as they hear your name, they know what you do and they know your signature offer. So that is really your first offering coming in sort of from cold traffic, your first offering that people get to know you for. And this could be a low end or a high end offer. I mean, quite often, a lot of coaches use kind of a bait to get people in the door. It could be a challenge. It could be a e-guide. It could be a case study, a webinar. It could be a free challenge or a paid challenge. Lots of options. So we need to create what is right for you, for people coming into your funnel. And um, that's what you get known by. And also, I just mentioned the vanity URL. That is like a web address that is really bespoke to you, really catchy. And people think, I remember that web address because that's so easy to remember. So let's just say you're in a lift one day and you get chatting to somebody in the lift and they ask you what you do. You explain what you do and then you say to them, well, all you need to do is visit. Now, this is off the top of my head, www.staymarried.com. OK, they're going to remember that. You know, it's not some complicated, long winded thing that you have to try and remember or write down. Staymarried.com. That tells them what they do. They can visit the website and there you go. There's your signature offer on there to feed them into your sort of funnel. So the fifth thing you need is an ascension ladder. Now, the biggest failing of people online is not to build out their ascension ladder at the start. Really think carefully and break down your ladder from the bottom of the rung right up to the top. So your lower end offering up to your higher end offering and be really clear on what that is and be congruent along the way. So the first step in your ladder cannot be something that's completely disconnected with the top rung of the ladder. So you might start with a $47 offer and you might jump straight to a $2,000 offer, but they have to be congruent with each other. They have to be naturally led up the path. You naturally lead, need to lead your clients through your funnel, up the ladder, in a very flowing and natural way that they, they is congruent with each other. So what they're going to learn on the bottom rung of your ladder, they're going to get way more value in the same field, but with so many extras congruency. So the sixth thing you need is an effective, organic way of getting clients. Now, an organic method of getting clients is so needed because at the start, and many of you coaches or service providers may not be at the start of your careers, but this is for those who are. At the start, you need to prove that your offer is wanted. You need to learn how to talk the language of your clients. It's almost like your playground where you're going to really delve deep into your niche, get to know what they want, get to know their pains, what keeps them up at night. And you're not taking any risk with money down on the table. So you may fail the first time. You may think, well, I've got the messaging wrong there. I've got nothing back from that one. Or Eventually, like the whole thing reiterates on itself and you find out what your clients want. You resonate with the right message and the offer, you know, I suggest sell anywhere from three to five of your offers before you start using ads. Now, the reason for this is because you get a lot of feedback from your clients and that in itself helps to improve your offer. So by the time we get onto the ads platform, we have something that has been proven to work You've got the messaging right. You know your clients. You know what they need. You know what they're, you understand your niche inside out. 
And then the seventh step is scaling with ads. You're now ready once you've got all these jigsaw pieces in place to scale with ads. And um, then you really have a consistent flow of clients into your business. So when you do serve your clients at the one end, when you look behind you, your pipeline is still full. Now, this is the ultimate goal, scaling with ads. And this is where I help my clients with this whole blueprint, this whole system, getting all the jigsaw pieces in place so that we can scale with ads. Ads are awesome because you can be in you can be in your client's face all the time. Keep reappearing all the time with different bits of content so that eventually they become to recognize you so well that it's a no-brainer and it's a natural thing to want to buy in to you. So that in itself is the blueprint. Have all those things in place and you've got a very successful coaching business. And I hear so many marketers out there today just promoting organic only and saying to their ideal client, don't touch ads, they're dangerous, they're too expensive, you're going to get your fingers burnt, they're not for you. I, I hear that all the time. And I also hear the other side where marketers say, oh, don't touch organic, really, you'll spend 24-7 uh, posting on social media, you'll never get anywhere, you'll never get traction, it's not consistent. So there are two types of marketers out there today telling you two different things. Now, the God's honest truth is that you do actually need both. My preferred way is with ads because it's more automated. It's easy to scale up. It's what I love. It's what I teach. But also organic plays a very important part as well. OK, but if you're going to stick the organic road and never touch ads, the truth is that to actually maintain a consistency, you'll end up having to hire virtual assistants in the background, maintaining that constant flow of posting and messaging and literally keeping it all going for you on an organic basis. So I'm telling you now, the myth that marketers tell you only ads, ads only and the other marketers that tell you organic only, my philosophy is you need both. And I think that's really where the reality lies in this coaching world today. Now, I just want to show you some of the people I've helped along the way throughout all my years of being in the coaching business. Graham Knobloch came to me a couple of years ago and I've helped him clinch so many clients. He says, Elaine's helped me clinch so many clients that my business rocketed to six figures in nine months. And he actually hit seven figures. We've got Garcia Lip. Just wanted to say that on week six of the course, I've clinched my first two clients, one at 997 and one at 1,497. Super grateful. And Stephen from Live Free Sober, it's actually beat binge, beat binge drinking now, but 171 leads in four days, four pounds a lead. That was on the ads platform. 15 sales closed and closed three at $1,500 each. What an ROI. And another, a few people here, we've got Derek Armson working with Elaine was incredible. Got him 100 leads in a three day period. It was like leads on tap, he says. Now, Samantha Hoodmont, grow my business as a small startup to a company now that has a waiting list for our services. Thank you, Elaine. So if you want to be one of these people, I would love to help you. So I would love today to invite you on a one to one with me. We'll get on Zoom or on the phone, whichever is your preference. And we can look at a blueprint for your business. We look at where you are now. You know, have you got clients? Have you not got clients? Are you looking to scale? Have you just started out? We'll look at where you are now and we'll build out the blueprint for you. OK, so our deep I'll delve deep into where you are, what your desires are, what your dreams are, what your pains are, and then we'll build that, that for you. You've already seen my blueprint. I've shown you on this case study my blueprint that's worked for me over the years, for my coaching businesses, and it also works for my clients. Now, the good news is that a lot of people are sceptical on coming on one-to-ones. They'd rather sometimes not because they're worried about having a heavy close at the end that that person trying to close them on the end of the phone to part with their money. Now, I'm not going to do a heavy close. OK, so you'll be pleased to know about that. But I will be obviously offering you my coaching services and my programme at the end of that call. Now, that's only if you are right fit for me. OK, and I can really help you. You're, you're a person that I can really help. And, you know, I suit you and you suit me. It's very much a 50-50, you know, road here. So if that's the case, yes, I'll be offering you my coaching services. But if you say yes, that's great. And we can sort of get, get the thing signed up and we can get rolling. 
um, on you getting your transformations in your business. But if you say no, that's absolutely fine as well. There's not going to be any heavy clothes. And I know that worries a lot of people on one to one. So I didn't want that to be a factor that is going to stop you because that would be such a shame because I know this one to one is going to really, really help. You'll come away from this one to one with a really clear idea in your mind where you need to be, maybe what you're doing wrong and your next steps. So I invite you today, um, you know, click the button to apply for a one to one. If you do find the door shut, it's because we're full and I only take so many on. So I like to only take so many on so many on so I can really help my clients because I don't want to take massive groups on and then it's the whole effort process is diluted. I only want to take a certain number that I know I can really passionately help because my heart and my soul is in my business. So that's enough of that. Click that click that button to apply. There will be an application process and you know if you're successful on the other end that'd be fantastic and we'll get on a call. If for some reason that application comes through and I really feel on that application you're not really the right person I can help. We'll drop you a polite email and maybe suggest an alternative course of action. So you're not losing anything. You're everything to gain. Click a link, apply for a call, and I would love to see you on the other side. All right, have a lovely day.